please take your seats. God bless you so much. Um, looking at the time and knowing very well that curfew is clocking in, uh, we are going to be very cautious about how much time we spend here. Mama Navagereka, thank you once again for being with us and your entourage and Sajari Ambogo. May God bless you. My dear pastors, I'm going to be mentioning your names as you sit there and as we wrap this up. Um, if uh, if uh, this speech is going to be the make or break of Joshua's future, then I'm doomed because uh, I've spent about um, uh, 26 years uh, grooming him and uh, depositing in him what I believe to be the ingredients for success in his life. And uh, he has grown in a house hearing uh, instructions, do this, don't do this, watch out for that, be careful, go slow, be fast, come on, get up, things like that. And my voice, I believe, is in his head, I can assure you that. And I'm sure that even when he sleeps, he thinks of what dad said or what dad would say. So I am assured, I'm assured that he's going to be successful with the information he already has, okay? Even if I don't add another statement on his life today, uh, he's going to be successful. Josh, I woke you up today at 6 in the morning and I gave you my speech, right? So uh, I, I, I gave him a speech and I even prayed for him to, to today before he starts that day. So you know it, this is between us, we're going to do this, and you're going to be successful. So you have now information overload, I'm not going to add to that. God bless you so much, so good to be with you. Pastor Eve is going to say a few words, and then I'm introducing some of the, our pastors to be able to uh, pray for us. Thank you so much, God bless. And again, all of us, please, thanks for being here. Amen. All protocol observed. Mama Nawagereka, we are so glad that you're here. Um Nawagini Bafebu na Avaze, Avasumba Mikwano Jafe, Avatu Sumbi Avamu, Pasa Serada, Tubagala nyo Eram Kamabawenyo Muksa, Aposo Mitala, a message is a mwezitu to siza wanezimu, mukama batu ero mukisa. Abagole bafe. Abagole bafe tubagala nyo. Bada unga antu dente Okuvoru alero Wenaba nga antu dene jowan Neba gamba mucha senyonga Tuja kwetu nila tugambe Which one? So Umuta ino kugamba senyonga junior Or senyonga senior So I'm so glad that you get to Get my son For a husband My son Josh Loves you he really, really loves you. I'm praying for you that you'll be that woman from the word go that you treasure that love. Um, Joshua is a very, very loving person. He's the kind of person who comes and says, Mom, are you okay? Should I bring you tea? So the first time uh, I heard about you from Josh, I had been in Uganda and I went back to America and I think you and Jackie had been to the house and Joshua was having a cold and the highlight for him he says mom this is going to be my wife she made me a cup of tea that healed my cold Praise the Lord. Atenzo Jowani, echa kunja gaza nengamba, ono sagala na mwana wanga aveo. One day I came, I was kind of cleaning the house. Many of you were in the house, jockey, all other friends were in the house. And uh, by chance I saw a book, ninga waka na katavokani. Nembi kulangabo manyaba zades. I was not snooping. But... I just kind of opened through the pages. Katiko page, nakendo kulaba ko, kuliko prayer requests. Ko prayer requests so ko, kuliko, of course, my tuition, my dad and my mom. Katu wanunga wali wo Josh. Ningamba, for Josh to be a man of God. For Josh to pray more. Ningamba ono nino kunyue zono ye mwala gwenja gala Afumbiru mwami mwana wange kumanga 
a musabira abero wa manyi asobolo kwagala katonda sigenda kwa bya josh <laughs> but i immediately saw a change in josh his grades went up because the only way he could hang out with joan was in the library <laughs> joan gayaga nti ah nsoka kola homework na waka so josh had to frequent the library and in frequenting the library he was able to do all his assignments and because he was doing all his assignments his grades went up he became more serious he became more caring about how he looked nyamba dente aluli alite yefira yo ye yambalira bintu bie nina gendo kula mu mwana achusiza ne nyambala so ningambo no muwala sagala aleke wo josh nino kula banga byakola chi so I'm glad that we are here and I know you're going to be great. I know you're going to do wonders for Jesus. Josh, I love you. I know you're a man of God. So many times people used to prophesy about you. You remember those churches we used to go to and those people would prophesy again is upon you in the states. Every, those churches we, that used to preach at. But I've seen in the last uh, three years, I've seen Josh totally turn around, become a passionate about the things of God and serving God and he has a vision and he he can wear your ears off telling you about the vision about where god is taking us what are me and joanna going to do he reminds me of his father at that age um for you today you are here you have our support but for us 30 years ago all we had was one bedroom house and after the wedding we didn't know what was going to happen I remember on our on our wedding night, our wedding day, we sang a song. You remember that, honey? I do not know what lies ahead. The way I do not see. But he who cares and died for me, show the way to me. That's the song we sang on our wedding day. We didn't know what was going to happen. We didn't know what was going to to whatever was going to happen but for me i was ready to go with him but today you have josh you have a future you have us we shall support you you will do great you're going to go to the next level we love you god bless you